Hi friends, it's Liz here. I am so excited about today. I get to show you my latest project, which is the Friendship Envelope Stack. I am doing this as a design project for Knitwit Collections, and I absolutely love the digitals that um, I got to play with to make this project. At the end of the video, I'll just give you a little quick share of how you can put one together. Um, but now let me just get started and show you what I've done. Now, this is not my original idea. I have seen lots of different YouTubers and um, items on Pinterest showing you something very similar. Uh, but this is sort of my take on what I saw. And I will leave all the links in the description box below to what I used. Uh, but I will also put them on my blog and I will leave those details on the screen up above. For those of you that um, tell me that you're not, um, you usually can't find it in the comments or in the description box, you can't find those details. So getting started, you see that it's got so many layers. It has lots of different fibers and um, I've got some laces and some sequin peeking out. I just really enjoyed putting this together. It is something that you can make for your friend. And I thought of this as something that could sit on your desk, hold lots of ephemera, and it's something that you can just enjoy looking at as well as using for different um, things. So this is one of the digitals. I just cut it to make a little journaling card. The uh, little envelope and this little card is also from one of the kits, as well as the uh, little sentiment right on the front that says just a note to say hello. I embellished it with um, a little sticker there that's got the butterfly and little bling on it. And then I've got the lace at the bottom. So your first flip, again, has some ephemera from the digitals. I used three different digitals, and like I said, I will link those below. So all of the pieces here, with the exception of the envelope, the doily, and the fabric are from the digital kits. As you can see, there's different journaling cards and pieces of ephemera that you can use. I'm also going to link the YouTube channel for Knitwit because they can um, better explain how to use their digitals. Um, there just takes a little getting used to for some of us junk journal makers, but um, you can check it out and just see um, you know, what they bring out. Every time they have a new design, they usually make a video to show you what's in it. So this next flip has a little tuck spot in the back here, and I just added some ephemera again from the digitals. This is a little sticker that I had. I added the glassine bag and I put one of their labels as well as these ones from one of the kits as well. And I used um, authentic junk journal kits. I used salutations kit and also another one called details. And I've sort of combined a little bit of everything here. Here, I'm just showing you that I did line the envelope and the envelope I actually made with one of the digitals as well as how I lined it. So this little belly band and the button is from one of the kits. And so is the details and the actual little booklet I'm going to show you. I just added a little tag that I thought went with it. So this is like a tiny little ephemera holder. I made a few little pockets. The actual paper is from the kits. And as you can see here, just, you know, it's got lots of space to add whatever ephemera you would like. But I think this is one of my favorite ones. So this here says life is in the details and it is one of their paint chip swatches that's from the details collection they also have like fabric swatches which i think are so adorable i have to show you those in a little bit as well um, so you can just see how i combined a bunch of their pieces and what i love about it also is that they coordinate so nicely together so as you can see i've taken three different kits and just combined a bunch of different pieces that i thought went nicely with each other so my next flip I also have um, more embellishments that I've added. Um, you can tuck something here in the back of either side. The center, you could add a little photo or a little saying again from one of the kids. And um, I've made the envelope as well as you can see here. I added two pieces of ephemera. The memory sticker was something I had. So they had these journaling cards that I made them a lot larger than they were. And then I added the sentiment that says the, um, just a note to say hello. And then I made a little match box or match, oh, what do you call those? Anyways, I made a little one with, um, you know, adding a little bit of paper there that you can use as a little, I guess I, I wanted it to be like a little notepad. 
I stapled it with my no staples staple and then I added one of the sentiments from the kit as well. Um, and if I've mentioned anything um, about supplies, I will link my favorite supplies list below for those of you that are interested. So the next envelope I also made, but I made it with a scrapbook paper because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker. Um, I added another piece of ephemera from one of the kits. I made one of my little um, cluster embellishments. I have a tutorial showing you how to quickly make some of these, which I will link below, but I thought it was a perfect um, little piece to add to the bottom of the envelope. And then I made a little notebook slash album. So the paper, the cover is actually from a Maggie Holmes collection. And then I added a couple of pieces of the Digital's ephemera right here. And then on the inside, I have the authentic junk journal kit um, that I've cut to size. And these are also from one of the Digital's. I've got another piece of ephemera here. So the idea behind this one is you can add, you know, little things that you might want to then attach to the pages afterwards. The size of this little booklet is about four by six. So you can add photos if you wanted to, or the little Instax photos would be so cute as well. And then just, you know, write your little notes or memories about things in the little notebook. So all the pages that have beautiful colors on them are from the digitals that I just cut up and made to fit into this little booklet. And what I did for this one as well is I just quickly stitched it on my sewing machine, but you can easily do a three hole pamphlet stitch for something like this. And if you don't know how to do that, I actually have a video showing you how to do that, which I will link below as well. So here you can see it's just got different um, gorgeous pieces from the collection and I love the different colors and just the brightness of the, um, the pieces that I'm sharing with you here. And over here is another journaling card. And then this is the little fabric swatch that I was talking about. So it looks like a little paint chip slash fabric swatch. And I just really, really love how they've designed these. I'm going to show you quickly just how to put something similar together, maybe with things that you have around. Um, this one here is just another um, page from one of the kits, and then I added some of the sentiments to it. So you can see the different designs that they have in these kits. Um, I know that primarily they do a lot of digital scrapbooking papers, but you can see when you print them out and kind of, you know, shrink them to size, you can make anything for your paper projects or junk journals, etc. So it was so fun to use the kits and I can't wait to share more projects that I am making with some of their collections. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you what you can do at home if you've got some envelopes laying around, I'm sure you do. Um, so what you would do is just gather a few of, you know, the ones that are different sizes and if you don't have some that fit the size you want, then you can go ahead and make them like I did for this project. Um, but for the first one that you see on mine, I had the little envelope that was actually from one of the digitals and I just flipped it so you could see the back of it. And um, so basically it's just layering from back to front. And so you would uh, figure out, you know, which envelopes you want to have in the back and then you kind of work your layers up. I find that if you use odd numbers of envelopes, it works really nicely. And then here you see that I've got different colors and different sizes as well. So this would be, you know, your one layer that you could use or you can make some in between or, you know, continue to add to it. But I think it's just such a cute thing to have on your desk to share with, you know, your pen pals or your friends. Also, if you want to see me make one from start to finish and decorate and embellish and everything, leave a comment below and let me know. And if I get enough interest, then I'll make a full one to show you how I did it. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.